The world is a fine place and worth fighting for, and I hate very much to leave it. Ernest Hemingway said that in his novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls. He must have never seen the Nevada Territory in 2093. Now, one might be wondering how you get into a situation like this. For our friend here, he just decided to buy a Red Bull at an unfortunate time. Our other buddy was an inmate at Cascadia Supermax for selling bootleg synthetic cigarettes. Escape parole now is doing a very bad job of laying low. And this young kid from North Dakota ran away from home and joined up real early in his life. He's been pulling freighters and some say he ain't even older than 13 years. Now, the combination of these oddly intertwining backstories combined with a little bit of boredom makes for a rough week, especially if you're the guy with a bag on his head. Following the Canadian Super Junction and the greater cessation movement of the 2070s, there wasn't much authority left in the Southwest Territories. Law didn't do much and rangers posed more of a threat than hoodlums. So protection was left to a few good men who did it out of the kindness of their hearts and maybe a couple of hearty handouts from the bounty boys of the state. Now, the talk of bounties and rangers and inmates makes you think of grand stories with horses and trains and gunslingers, but these days, things just aren't that exciting. And these are kids, not outlaws. Turn the kid over! All I want is a kid. Just give me him and you can go back to whatever wasteland you came from. Fine. No, regardless of excitement, these coincidences make for a rough week, especially if you're the guy with a bag on his head.